welcome to bsc statistics students in this class i explain one of the problem <coughs> i'm sorry one of the problem in the changes in the right hand side constants in the post optimal analysis if the right hand side constant changes then uh, how to maintain the optimality condition is going to be discussed here without changing the optimality condition how the discrete changes in the components uh, are in the right hand side constants which is going to be studied you see this is the problem here maximize z is equal to 4x1 plus 6x2 plus 2x3 and subject to the constraints x1 plus x2 plus x3 is less than or equal to 3 and the second one x1 plus 4 x2 plus 7 x3 is less than or equal to 9 and x1 x2 x3 greater than or equal to 0. What you have to do determine the ranges for discrete changes in the components b1 and b2 the two particular right hand side constants here 3 9 of the requirement vector so as to maintain the feasibility of the current optimum solution as already we have discussed that the feasibility is one such uh, aspect if you uh, observe or if you check if you examine then it is enough right so that is our reason uh, it was specified clearly to maintain the feasibility of the current optimum solution right you see come over here what we have to do i have explained in the previous problem as well first of all you have to consider the given lpp all the constraints are less than or equal to then you have to consider a simplex procedure and you have to obtain the uh, final optimum uh, simplex table that is you have to uh, obtain the optimum solution and you have to consider the final optimum simplex table so this is what the final optimum simplex table remember you have to do this problem first of all and get the final optimum simplex table only this is what the final optimum simplex table only right uh, if you solve the lpp by using simplex procedure we got this table final table and uh, which is having the basis y1 y2 and uh, uh, remaining values z is equal to 16 etc all the values here now you have to concentrate on this particular uh, method that is uh, observing the changes in the right hand side constants uh, you have to consider you have to uh, first of all identify what is the inverse of the matrix which are going to be considered as uh, some vectors uh, beta 1 beta 2 etc right the so beta 1 is here beta 2 is here this is what inverse of the basis matrix B. What is the inverse actually it is to be identified? How to identify the inverse here in the simplex process, simplex uh, final simplex table? All the students uh, are requested to identify inverse uh, in another fashion. Which vectors are in the basis y1, y2? You go and uh, consider what are the original values of y1, y2, the vectors y1 and y2 in the uh, given problem. y1 is the coefficient of x1, 1, 1, and y2 is the coefficient of uh, x2, that is 1 and 4, that is uh, 1, 1, 1 and 4 for which you obtain you calculate let you consider this is the b the basis matrix you calculate inverse for this you will get this you please try to calculate try to calculate the inverse for this and you will get this 4 by 3 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 1 by 3 you will get this b inverse it will be there in the final optimum simplex table Again, I specify one, one more thing. It need not be in the same particular uh, order of uh, uh, the vector y4, y5 or y3, y4. It may be anywhere in the 
vector, but unfortunately we got continuously in this particular final optimum simplex table. Okay. So you have to identify, you have to calculate inverse for 1114, 1114 and you will get uh, this inverse. This is what the inverse is obtained in the, in our uh, uh, final simplex table. You have to identify, you have to write as uh, and you have to identify as beta 1 and beta 2. Here we got y4, y5. In y4, y5 we got the inverse beta 1 and beta 2. Okay, clear. Uh, this is uh, what uh, the explanation for B inverse, in which I explain B is equal to B1, B2, that is 3 and 9, the original values of B of the old linear programming problem, that is this. And uh, thereafter, if B1 and B2 are changes, and what would be the, uh, the solution, that is without changing the optimality. The final optimum simplex table xb is equal to 1 and 2. That is what the solution of the final optimum simplex table of the old LPP. And B inverse, beta 1, beta 2. The values are B, uh, the inverse of the matrix that is B. Uh, inverse of matrix of B, that is B inverse, beta 1, beta 2. That you can observe from here in that final optimum simplex table 4 by 3, minus 1 by 3, minus 1 by 3, 1 by 3. So this is what beta 1 and beta 2 column vectors 4 by 3 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 1 by 3 beta 1 beta 2 simply write with b inverse is equal to beta 1 and beta 2 and thereafter now you see if you see the changes of variations in b1 that is variations in b1 how to uh, see the changes what is the change generally we consider for b1 b1 plus delta b1 in which let, let delta b1 is the change in the b1, then we have to consider the range of delta b1 for maintaining the feasibility condition it is given by. This is what entire theory I have explained in, the, in one particular class that if delta bk, bk the change in the bk is bk plus delta bk, that is delta bk is the change, only the change in observed in the bk additional amount is going to be added to the bk then uh, the range of delta bk for maintaining the feasibility is specified by is given by maximi, maximum of minus xbi by beta ik and beta ik greater than 0 less than or equal to delta bk less than or equal to minimum of minus xbi by beta ik beta ik less than 0. So here delta for delta B1, we have considered K is equal to 1, consider the first column of B inverse. Because of the B1, we have to consider the first column of B inverse. What is the first column of B inverse? Beta 1, I show you. So maximum of minus XBI by beta I1, comma beta I1 greater than 0, less than or equal to delta B1, less than or equal to minimum of minus XBI by beta I1, beta I1 less than 0. So, k is equal to 1, we have to consider the first column of B inverse. So, what is the first column of B inverse? I show you. The first column of B inverse is nothing but, uh, we can also refer here, beta 1, 4 by 3, minus 1 by 3. This is the first column of B inverse, beta 1. Second column is this. So, now we are considering first column of B inverse, 4 by 3 and minus 1 by 3, for which the XBI values are 1 and 2 xbi this is xb so xbi values are 1 and 2 uh, beta i1 values are 4 by 3 1 minus 1 by 3 so for positive beta i1 greater than 0 only positive value is 4 by 3 beta i1 less than 0 negative values are minus 1 by 3 both values are here one positive one negative so xbi by beta i1 1 by 4 by 3 minus 1 by which means uh, minus xbi by beta i1, beta i1 greater than 0, minus xbi by beta i1 less than 0, Le less than 0 is minus 1 by 3. So, minus 1 by 4 by 3, first of all, you see the range, it is going to be calculated here, oh, probably you, you understand properly, only one value here, maximum of minus 1 by 4 by 3, what I have shown here, 4 by 3 and minus 1 by 3, two values, 
one, this is uh, positive value and this is a negative value minus 1 by 3 for which you have to consider minus x bi by beta i1 greater than 0 that is 4 by 3. So, minus 1 by x bi value corresponding to this is 1. So, minus 1 by 4 by 3 maximum of only one value no problem less than equal to delta b1 less than equal to minimum of minimum of uh, x bi is 2 the minus x bi is minus 2 divided by beta i1 less than 0 negative value is minus 1 by 3 minus 2 by minus 1 by 3 therefore uh, uh, minus 1 by 4 by 3 is minus 3 by 4 minus 2 divided by minus 1 by 3 is 6 plus 6 so therefore delta b1 should lie in between minus 3 by 4 and 6 minus 3 by 4 less, ta, less than or equal to delta b1 less than or equal to 6 and, and then what you have to calculate even though it is not given in the problem you have to calculate the range of b1 that is b1 is to be considered simply b1 less than or equal to b1 plus delta b1 what is b1 b1 is equal to 3 i will show you again b1 is equal to 3 it was uh, very clearly given that uh, b is equal to the vector b1 b2 is equal to 3 and 9 right hand side constants 3 and 9 right that is what our discussion now right if you see the value here that is a change now it is going to be observed now of b1 b1 less than or equal to b1 plus delta b1 that where b1 is equal to 3 you add simply 3 to entire this particular equation you will get it that's it that therefore the range of b1 the range of b1 to maintain the feasibility of the linear programming problem is given by 3 minus 3 by 4 less than or equal to b1 so b1 is less than or equal to b1 plus delta b1 therefore b1 less than or equal to 3 plus 6 that is b1 3 3 plus 6 so 9 so 9 by 4 less than or equal to b1 less than or equal to 9 this is the range of b1 to maintain the feasibility if you want to maintain the feasibility of the new linear programming problem the b1 lies in between 9 by 4 to 9 we can consider any value between 9 by 4 to 9 hope you understand right similarly now variations in b2 variations in b2 the variation uh, how the variation b2 is going to be observed that is if any kind of changes taken place for b2 and what would be the value of delta b2 and uh, b2 for maintaining the feasibility that is to get the optimality condition optimality of this optimum solution that is to maintain the optimum solution so the uh, range of delta b2 it is for maintaining the feasibility condition it is given by maximum of minus x b i by beta i2 beta i2 greater than 0 less than or equal to delta b2 less than or equal to minimum of minus x bi by beta i2 beta i2 less than 0 that k is equal to 2 hence consider the b inverse uh, the second column of b inverse that is what uh, important here k is equal to 2 hence consider the second column of b inverse we see the second column of b inverse and show that uh, the maximum of uh, x minus x bi by beta i2 for which beta i2 greater than 0 here we have to consider minimum of minus x bi by beta i2 beta i2 is less than 0 i show you first of all what are the values of second column of b inverse the second column of b inverse which means uh, now you observe here it is beta 2 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 so that there, there is one negative value one positive value for positive value you have to consider x bi by uh, beta i2 for beta i2 greater than 0 that is maximum 2 by 1 by 3 corresponding value of x bi is 2 2 by 1 by 3 and uh, for beta i2 less than 0 that is negative value then you have to consider minus x bi by uh, minimum of minus x bi by beta i2 that is uh, minus 1 by minus of minus uh, minus 1 by minus 1 by 3 that minimum you have to consider clear this is the second column minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 right so now if you consider here the range of delta uh, range of delta b2 when if you consider the range of delta b2 it is going to be considered as minus x bi by beta i2 for which beta i2 is greater than 0 for greater than 0 one value we have 1 by 3 minus x bi is 2 
minus 2 minus x b a by beta i2 that is minus 2 divided by 1 by 3 less than or equal to delta b2 less than or equal to minimum of minus x b a by beta i2 beta i2 less than 0 less than 0 we have one value minus 1 by 3 and minus x b i is minus, minus 1 that x b i is 1 therefore minus uh, 1 divided by uh, beta i2 is minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 and uh, therefore uh, delta b2 is licensed between these two that is uh, this is minus 6 and this is plus 3 therefore delta b2 is licensed between minus 6 to 3 again you have to consider the range of b2 that b2 is less than or equal to b2 plus delta b2 b2 is 9 and i have already shown that b2 is 9 right hand head constant second constant for second constraint the range of b2 to maintain the feasibility of the lpp uh, it, is, it is given by you add 9 to this particular equation to this equation 9 minus 6 less than or equal to b2 less than or equal to 9 plus 3 then which is nothing but 9 minus 6 is 3 and this is 12 therefore b2 lies in between um, 3 and 12 this is the range of the b2 uh, for maintaining the feasibility hope you understand this is what the question the problem uh, we have to do whenever uh, the changes in the whenever to study the changes in the uh, right hand side constants uh, in the study of the post optimal analysis thank you thank you very much